can uh, you can wander through if you haven't already had that chance today. It is beautiful. Um, but the fact is, right here is where the Holy Spirit is right now. This moment. So that's all that matters. We're here together. And uh, I, uh, Lionel and Garrison didn't come. Um, Lionel's mother just came into town, and uh, so. As she was saying, you know, she said, I'll, you know, I'll take care of Garrison, or you can go, or whatever. And I said, no, no, really. I don't need to go. Um, <laughs> but then they have a few things to go to do, but I think it was really because Rudy was singing tonight. It's why Lionel didn't want to come. <laughs> there you are here, so you can hear me say that. Yes, he'll love that I gave that jab. Um, but Lionel and Garrison say hi, because they love you dearly at this church as well. And many of you know Garrison, right? You know my son? Yes, oh, Judy, you know him very well. But um, Garrison is, um, you know, you read these strong-willed books, and they tell you to give children a choice. That's what you do with these kids, right? <laughs> You're laughing already. He's a good boy. Let me know. Let me tell you, this boy is the best boy in the world. But, you know, you have to give him a choice. You know, either choice A or choice B. And you know what my son always chooses? You got it. You know my son. You do. Choice C. He always comes up with the option C. And um, that's Garrison. So as good parents, Lionel and I made sure that when he wanted his big boy bike, we made sure that he knew the only way he was going to get his big boy bike is if he did a few more big boy things. <laughs> You understand. Yeah. This is good parenting skills right there. Uh, so we held it over his head, this beautiful little red bike that he wanted to move up from his tricycle to a regular bike, and we held that over his head. The fact was his birthday was coming up, so we had planned to give it to him on his birthday. And he worked hard and he made sure that he did the things he was supposed to do, and on his birthday, when he woke up, he stood up and he ran to look in the mirror and he was so disappointed because he thought he would be all grown up. <laughs> when he got over that disappointment, uh, he went downstairs, and this is at my parents' home, and they have a nice piece of property and a big shed that has a nice flat concrete area out there where we had the bike there. And he, when he saw it, he ran, but he was so excited, and of course I had every helmet and every guard you can put on a child. I made sure all that was on before he got on that bike, and he started off on this little concrete square thing, just 90 to nothing. He was a pro already on this bike, no problem whatsoever. And um, it actually happened, this nice flat concrete, it went around a sidewalk around the back side of the shed as well, and he started whizzing around that, you know, he was just going to town. Well, we had left the training wheels on, just in case, and sure enough, the training wheel caught on the edge of the sidewalk, and it careened the bike down a rather steep hill. He threw the I know, oh, you're thinking. Well, my boy steered that bike straight. He had a hold of that, but the thing is, he was putting his feet down, and they couldn't touch the ground, and he had forgotten how to brake. You know, you have to pedal backwards mm -hmm. on these. We got the cheap bike, you know. So it's the pedal backwards. He didn't remember that. All he remembered on his tricycle, he could put his feet down and he could stop. He couldn't stop. So thankfully, a tree stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> and my son, on his fifth birthday, broke his home. Oh. I know, we're the worst parents ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Uh, we were in the emergency room making sure, and you know they heal quick and all that. But our poor little guy, you know what we had to do that afternoon? The first thing we did when we came back from the hospital? Put him back, back on the bike. bike. He was terrified of that bike. He wanted nothing to do with it. And he, and through the tears, and, and some of you know my son very well, and he struggled against us, and we put him on that bike. And Lionel stood in front holding the handlebars. And I stood behind holding the seat. And we'd go two feet and then he would break. And then we'd go two feet more and he'd break until he finally was comfortable again and he started riding his bike again. This is no different than you and I. We live in a world that we get banged up, broken, crushed so many times. But there is a God. Yeah. Who is there? Whether I don't know where you are in your journey tonight, what you're facing in your own life, 
But you need to know whether you see him or not, God is right there. Amen. 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 Amen